<clears throat> Hello, I am Absolute Dating, and I will be your guide today. I am what you would refer to as a super sleuth. I have cracked many cases in my day, and will now be leading you on a trip through one of my biggest, most amazing cases. <clears throat> See, over time, elements change to a different or lighter element through a process called radioactive decay. This is one of my favorite tools to use on my investigations. Some examples of this are uranium. The radionuclides transform into different atoms until very little of the original atoms are left and the uranium eventually becomes lead, which is a stable form for it. Also, theorem is another example of radioactive decay. See, like uranium, the radionuclides transform over time into different atoms till a stable state is found which also happens to be lead. Now not everything will find its stable state in lead. Another tool that I use is radiometric dating. This is not quite as accurate as radioactive dating. Radiometric dating is when the amount of father and daughter material is measured in a rock and a ratio of the two is used to find the age of the rock. This is not my preferred method because it does not work quite as well and is not as accurate. It could also be used to date fossils as well by figuring out how old the rock that the fossil is encased in is. <coughs> See, it all started with the Precambrian era and is home. We refer to it as Earth. The Precambrian era's date of birth was 4,600 million years ago. His date of death was 541 million years ago. House inventory before death. Single-celled organism. Prochorites. Eukarites. The house has a lot of volcanoes and lava and is very hot. Not much possession-wise, and it is hard to stand in because of the heat. This is the last video of him, which he asked to play at his funeral. Hello, I am the Precambrian heir. And I am making this video to transfer all of my possessions, including my house, to my only son and relative, the Paleozoic Era. Please, take good care of it. If you lose any of my stuff, I will come back from the dead and haunt you. So, yeah. The circumstances of his death were quite fishy. So I began to check them out and found that the Precambrian era was in fact murdered. The rapid coin that led to his death was actually a very clever way to cover up the murder. The Paleozoic era, date of birth, 570 million years ago, died 245 million years ago. During his stay in Earth, he made some massive changes. He increased air quality and introduced many new plants and animals to Earth. He started with invertebrates, then went on to vertebrates, algae, jawed fish, land plants, amphibians, sea plants, reptiles, and conifers. He managed to create great cold deposits. This left the house looking very full of life and alive. It got warmer every time I went to the house, but near the end, it seemed to suddenly become much colder, until one day the whole house froze over, creating an ice age. It eventually thawed, but soon froze over again. This was the end of the Paleozoic Era. It all looked normal at first, but after last time, I wasn't taking any chances. So I left no rock unturned, and found that someone had tampered with the thermostat. Paleozoic Era had left the house to his closest friend, the Mesozoic Era, who, it turned out, was quite the renovator because he had the house done in 30 million years. Not everything survived the Ice Ages, but there were still a few remaining species. He decided to add some new things during the renovations, such as dinosaurs, flowering plants, mammals, birds, and other things. He sadly passed 66 million years ago. What the? Hey, who are you? Hey, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm really up to date. And uh, I'm going to be taking the story from here. That old guy, uh, he just went, <laughs> just going to, 
Flash. Hey, you there. You can't be in here. Get out of here. Right now. I'm, uh, sorry, Pops, but, uh, can't do that for you. And, uh, gonna have to say goodbye to your life. What's up? I'm, uh, relative Dayton, and, uh, I'm just like the other guy, but, uh, better. More advanced. I have three amazing ways of discovering how a rock lays out. Number one, the large superposition, which basically means that uh, the farther down a rock layer is, the older it is, and vice versa. Uh, the large cross cutting relationships, which means that if uh, something is cutting through another something, that thing that is being cut through is older. And uh, number three is the law of inclusion, which states that uh, if a rock layer has another rock layer shown through it, and the rock layer being shown through the other rock layer is older. I am the Mesozoic Air. I am the this video, and if anyone happens to find it, well, I was probably killed then because I made the video. Who are you? close friend of mine named uh, Cenozoica. He was uh, born about 65 million years ago. He added, a pl he added placental plants to the house and asylum rooms to the humans. He's a pretty nice guy. Keeps the house well. If not a little bit just hot, maybe cold sometimes. Just right usually though. But uh, you go to some parts of the house and it's like, Whoa, so hot here, I don't even know what's going on. Go to other parts and you're like, whoo we. Does it never get warm over here? Uh, no more dinosaurs, which uh, really sucks. Wanted to see some dinosaurs. Uh, but after some careful observation, uh, there have been no attempts on his life so far, and uh, plan on uh, keeping it that way. 